Dude, this is a big one. Your first graduation ceremony. You're gonna enter a secret society. It's not magicians, though. <laughs> no. No. Okay. <laughs> is that good or bad? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, was a, that was a withering nod to magicians. <laughs> okay, we're gonna play a game. It's called Petals Around the Rose. You get to know that the name of the game is Petals Around the Rose, and it is important. The name is important. Second of all, the results are always zero or an even number. And the only thing I could do is for every roll, I could tell you the result. If you figure out the secret algorithm on your own, you get to become one of the insiders, a potentate of the rose. But if you can't figure it out, then I just get to sit here and laugh at you. Any questions? A lot, but I'll keep them later. <laughs> That's very confusing, but I'll get there. All right, so, so here, uh, this roll right here. As a potentate of the rose, I can tell you that this totals eight. As a potentate of the rose, I can tell you this totals four. This roll, I can tell you totals four. Wait, give me a moment on this one. <laughs> okay. Okay, go. Six. Now remember, there's only three facts I gave you. Fact number one is what? Oh, well, I know the name, which it is Petal, Petals, Roses. <laughs> Petals around the rose. And what did I say about the name? It was a name. <laughs> no, the name is important. Oh, the name's the name important. The name of the game okay. is the Petals around the rose and the name is important. Second of all, the total will always be either zero or an even number. And I could give you the results of any roll. In fact, you want to roll? Go ahead. Sure. All right, what do we got here? As a potentate of the rose, I could tell you the total is six. So famously, one of the apocryphal stories about this is that Bill Gates lost his mind doing this all night long and was never able to figure it out. So it's one of those analytical versus poetic kind of figuring stuff out things. What makes you think that I can figure it out? Because I think you're smarter than Bill Gates. No. You're also gonna cure malaria. Oh my gosh, this is harder than I thought it would be. Well, so here, try, uh, try, try guessing. What do you think that one is? Seven. Wait, that's not an even that's number. That's right. See, you're paying attention to the rules. That matters. I'm smarter than you think. <laughs> eight. You think it's eight? You're very close. It's what six. If I, what if I accidentally get it right? Well, you can accidentally get it right, but you're not a true potentate of the rose until you figure out the secret. Then you're in the elite club. Mm -hmm. What about this? What do you think that one is? Can it go past ten? Can go past ten. 14. Oh, no, not bad. This is 10 right now. Oh, I didn't figure it out really, so. <laughs> All right, there we go. This is two. Is it, do, does it depend on the placement of the dice? Like if it's, when it falls together, like, and it maybe it's closer to you or something? That's not bad. I, I Wait, will, there's I, no six dice though. Or I mean, there's no 10 dice. Oh, that goes to 10? Yeah. yeah. So well here, in fact, to, let me put it this way. You can roll the dice. That is, do you have a guess? Um, four. Six, very close, try again, try again. Um, eight. Two. Uh, <laughs> if the number, what, I'm just guessing here, but. No, this is great, by the way, asking questions is how you get closer. Now, in this case, you're able to ask me. Is it like I'm 20 questions, but infinity? <laughs> no. Well, if you wanna solve the puzzle, oftentimes just asking yourself whether or not that's the case, and then testing individual theories one at a time will help. Is it, so what, what was this one? Uh, that is two. Yeah, okay. Does it depend on like, if it's over something or below a certain number? I, can only tell you three things. <sighs> the name of the game is Petals Around the Rose, and the name is important. I hate these kind the of games answer I will just... always be zero or an even number, and I can tell you on each individual roll what the number is. This is eight. Huh. So maybe start with there. How can you make that eight? What are eight of there? Is it so you can all I'm just gonna ask you a question, but you don't have to answer. Okay, okay. Does it have to do with Dividing? I'm gonna look in your eyes and you're gonna nod. <laughs> I, 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 that sounds like giving a hint. I can only tell you three things. No. As a potentate of the rose, <laughs> it's a sacred mimic. honor. <laughs> okay. All right, so start describing everything you can about every dice roll. Okay. Um, 
There is two ones. Yep. Uh, two fours. Yep. And one six. Yep. Also, a. the result is zero. Is it because it's in a zero shape? No, no, no. They're, when you <laughs> scoop things together, they tend to make the shape of a zero. <laughs> So maybe maybe just, just sort of log that in your mind. I find that oftentimes just saying things out loud sort of causes a different part of my brain to engage. There we go, what do we got on this one? One, three, two, five, six. That's right, and this is a six. Um, is it because I ended on a six? No, no, that's not a bad guess. There are games where you do that. Yeah. It's not, a, but here's the thing. You could roll them, you could arrange them any way you want, and I could tell you the result. In fact, let's try Wait. that. Here, you go ahead and roll them. Uh, okay. You arrange them however you want. You got it? Yes. Oh, interesting. Uh, the answer is a snake. Uh, yes. no. <laughs> oh my God. Um, the answer is eight. Um, okay, well there's two, five, four, five, six. Is it, is it what's furthest from you? No, that's not bad either. Five, five, four, two, five. The results for this one are 12. Um, 16, look, I'm doing math. <laughs> 21, yes? Uh, 21 is what, the total of all that? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> yes. And then if you, if you switch those, it's 12. I'm not allowed to give hints, but if I were to give a hint, I might suggest that you don't have to do any math. Thank you. <laughs> 16. Blink if I'm close. No, 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 okay, no. Fine. You have to earn it. You have to become a potentate of the rose. Yeah, yeah. That is 16. Yes. But we don't know 16 of what? Um. What? Uh, <laughs> that is that is 12. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that oh my is god. still 12. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. So even if I. Yeah, that's still 12. Then that's uh, eight. Uh, that's four. Sixteen of what? Yeah. Well, what are the three things we know? Sixteen of roses. Sixteen of numbers. <laughs> what's, the, what's the name of the game? Roses. Nope. It's definitely I keep not. Saying <laughs> the name of the game is Petals Around the Rose, and the name is important. The result will always be zero or an even number, and I can tell you the result of any roll. No, the name of the game is important. The name, let's play. No. It's like the name of the game is Petals Around the Rose, and the name is important. Is there some funky dance around those words? Like No, it's really straightforward. It's really straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you, mm, mm, I was about to give a hint. These, I shouldn't do that. These look like petals. <gasps> these also look like a petals. These, should I count only the things around? <laughs> I can all tell you three things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. <gasps> hold on, hold Would on. Would you like to test your skills? Yes. Okay. What is I that? I can tell you the answer is two. That is zero. That is zero. That is zero. That is zero. That is two. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, you tell me how many are there. Okay, um, four, eight, eight. You are a potentate of the rose because you figured out that you're simply counting the number of petals around the rose. Oh my God. God. <laughs> I thought I would never get that. <laughs> oh my God. That, that was so good. That took a lot. <laughs> but you got there naturally. That's amazing. Just, I thought it was just being an idiot funny. Like these look like roses. The hardest thing when you're doing this for your friends is to not give hints, to just let them fester in it. That's yeah. the hardest part. Okay, so I think really it's just 
The reason why this is a zero is because that is the like rows. That's right. And this has no rows. That's right. And but this has a row, so you don't count the dot in the middle. You count the dot around it. The petals around the rows. This has two petals because you're not counting in there. That's right. That's exactly right. Yes. You got it. Well done. Oh,